Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I found another book about somebody we met recently. Do you remember when we read the book I Am Otter? And we met Otter and his friend Teddy? Well, guess what? I found another book about him. And this one's called Otter Loves Halloween. Otter Loves Halloween. Otter must be getting ready for Halloween. Do you think he goes out and goes trick-or-treating? He'd have to be pretty brave to do that. He's such a little otter. I don't know what happens, but we're going to have to get into this book and see what otter does at Halloween. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Otter Loves Halloween, written by Sam Garton. Halloween is the best holiday ever. Teddy and I have been waiting a very long time for Halloween. There were lots of things we had to do to get ready. Look, they have Halloween marked on the calendar, and they keep marking down the days. They must really love Halloween. First, Otter Keeper took us pumpkin shopping. But Otter Keeper is not very good at choosing pumpkins. Teddy and I found the right one eventually. It was very big, so we had to promise we'd help carry it back. Um, it doesn't look like they're really helping. Otter and Giraffe and Teddy are just riding on top of the pumpkin. When we got home, Otter Keeper ran into a few problems carving our pumpkin. I told Giraffe to help because Teddy and I had to start decorating the house. Look, the pumpkin's so big, Otter Keeper's not sure how to cut into it. And Teddy and Otter are hanging decorations all over the house. We did decorate a few things we shouldn't have, but overall, we did a great job. Finally, I had to organize everyone's Halloween costumes. I dressed up as a super scary witch. I couldn't get my magical broomstick to work, but it looked, it looked really scary, so that didn't matter. Teddy decided to dress up as a scary mummy. We both agreed he looked almost as scary as I did. Giraffe wanted to dress up for Halloween, too, but I wasn't sure about his costume idea. Otter Keeper said you can dress up as whatever you want on Halloween. Hmm, wonder what Giraffe's going to dress up as. So Giraffe was a fairy. He wasn't really taking Halloween seriously. Everyone knows fairies aren't scary, so I added some teeth. <laughs> Giraffe wanted to be a pretty fairy, but Otter wants him to be scary. We spent the rest of the afternoon practicing with our costumes by scaring Pig. Teddy and I were very good at this. Giraffe was not. But it was his fault for dressing up as an unscary fairy. Finally, the doorbell rang. The trick-or-treaters were here at last. Ding dong. It was then that we ran into a problem. <gasps> what happened? The trick-or-treaters were very scary. Almost too scary. I suddenly remembered I had lots of important things to do under the bed upstairs. I took Pig with me too. He was really scared. Oh no, the kids at the door scared Otter and he ran upstairs. I was worried Halloween had been ruined, but then Otter Keeper had a little chat with us. We both felt a lot better. Then Otter Keeper had a clever idea. I was even allowed to help. Ding dong. When the next trick-or-treaters arrived, we were ready for them. What did Otter Keeper do? Our new costumes worked perfectly. These trick-or-treaters sounded even scarier than the ones before. But things are much less scary when you can't really see them. Look, Otter Keeper put boxes over their heads so they couldn't see the trick-or-treaters and they couldn't get scared. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Trick-or-treaters kept coming. This was definitely the best Halloween ever. Until the trick-or-treaters stopped coming, Otter Keeper told me they had all gone home because it was almost bedtime. But I wasn't tired at all. So I made special costumes for everyone. It's a good thing that we finished when we did. Ugh, it was way past Pig's bedtime. Otter did get tired. He did so much on this Halloween. Oh, that's
said, Silly Otter and his friends. They were so excited about Halloween, but then when it came and the trick-or-treaters came, they got so scared. He's such a little otter, and the costumes the kids were wearing scared him. But look what his otter keeper did. He put boxes and bags over their heads so they couldn't see the scary trick-or-treaters. And then they weren't scared anymore. And then they were so tired. They had a busy day, a busy day getting ready for Halloween, a busy day getting ready to give out candy. Now I see why Otter loves Halloween. Probably the same reason you and I love it, because we get to go trick-or-treating or we get to stay home and give out candy. We just get to make people happy. And there's nothing I like more than making people happy, especially you. I love to read to you, and I hope that makes you happy. And I love to be here to say good night. You know what? Being with you is one of my favorite things to do, no matter what day of the year it is. And that's why I want to take a minute to pray with you, because I'm so thankful for you. Would you take a minute to pray with Miss Dorothy? Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for my friends. Thank you that they come back to hear my stories. Please keep them safe, no matter what day it is, no matter what night it is, no matter what they're doing. Keep them safe and help them to listen to their parents and know that whenever their parents tell them to do something, it's because they love them and they want to keep them safe. Now give them a good night's sleep. Help them to get all rested up for tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my little otter, time for you to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, whatever you're doing with your mom and dad, whatever they say, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.